Okay, dear friends, welcome back. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be would be this one, and、uh, the level is level one, level two. Sorry, and I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the VMware workstation. I think、uh, this、uh, virtual machine cannot work for VirtualBox, and now I can go into the Kali Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine or target as one hundred and thirty. Then I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the virtual scan, the default script scan, and also I did the comprehensive scan or full range port scan by option of dash p dash. From the map scanning results, as you can see, the several open ports like、uh, the first one is twenty two, which is running. SSH and also the actual version information. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any availability. And the second one is eighty, which is running HTTP surface and also the actual version information, which is a patch two. And the next one is one one one, which is running some sort of the RPC. And also the four four three, and six three one. And also the three three zero six. And uh, uh, when I did this virtual machine the first time, the first thing I tried is to to see whether this my circle surface has weak power password like a loot, but、uh, it was not. And then、uh, we need to do some emulation for the AT port. I have already opened up the browser, and、uh, this is the IP address of the target. As you can see, this is the user login panel, and we can try like admin and admin login, but、uh, failed. And also, we can try the the login bypass techniques like admin and all. And the password you can put any、uh, string or information. And logging, yeah, we successfully bypass the logging authentication. And here, as you can see, it is look. It looks like uh, uh, it's uh, doing the ping, ping to the locket. For example, we can put the local address, submit. And、uh, as you can see, it successfully run the command of a ping. So I think now we 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 can make a very reasonable consumption. Maybe this function has command injection vulnerability, right? For example, we can check whether we can run the command id and submit. As you can see, we successfully successfully executed the command of ID, and also you can check the whether the virtual machine has Netcat installed. But I can tell you, it's not. So next, we need to we need to、uh, get the reverse shell, right? And、uh, I have already opened up the. Website of pen test monkey, and we can make a copy of this, the first way. And、uh, we need to change the IP address to our Kali Linux. And as usual, I'd like to change. The port number to five 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 five, okay, 
And then now we can make a copy of this line, and、uh, we can go back to yeah the browser this tab, and we can put in here. But before we submit this request, we need to set up the listener, right? By sudo netcat, and、uh, we can put the port number, and now we can submit. Yeah, as you can, as you can see, we have already. You got the reverse shell from the virtual machine, and、uh, we can make, we can check the version of a Python, and Python two is there. We can run to make sure our shell is bash. Spawn. Okay. And now we can go to the home directory, make a very basic emulation, but、uh, permission denied. And also, we cannot navigate into the John directory because insufficient privilege. And also, we can do some more emulation. I mean, the local emulation. For example, we can go to the. Ww directory and go to the HTML subdirectory, and we can cut the index. So as you can see here, we can yeah. As you can see, take a look at this line. The it means that the we we have already got the username and the password for the my circle collection. So maybe、uh, this password is also used by the John user, not only for the database collection. We can make a copy and change to the John user and paste in here. But it's a failed. It failed. Incorrect password. And also we can log in. Uh, by these credentials, username and password to log in my circle database to see whether we can find out some、uh, more information. But I can tell you,、mm, there is nothing、uh, useful for us. So also we can、uh, upload from the Kali Linux. Use the Limpers、uh, shell script. And run this、uh, shell script Nimpers, and to see whether there is vulnerability for the local privilege escalation. But、um, I can tell you, we cannot get any such information. I mean, from、uh, sorry, it、uh, it、uh, failed. I need to log in again. I don't know what happened. And we can submit again. So maybe this virtual machine is not stable. Yeah. And now we, I just、uh, repeat my procedure. So I can tell you, we cannot get any useful information from the Nimpers、uh, shell script, and also. But now we need to do some. Also, you can、uh, create the metas metaprater and to see whether we can find out such vulnerability. But I can tell you, I cannot get such result. I mean the the the, the beneficial result. And、uh, now we can ch check the the kernel. As you can see, the kernel is a bit、uh, low, right? A bit outdated. So it、um, there must be some、uh, vulnerability for us to elevate our privilege. And now we can use the search a bright、uh, utility and the kernel.
as you can see, uh, this code. Of course, you can try other exploit, but I can tell you, you will not, you will not succeed. And uh, then we can um, copy the code from this pass. And then we can upload to virtual machine, and we can go back to our shell, navigate to temp directory, and use the double get to download code. Yeah, no problem. And we can the uh, use the GCC to compile uh, these. Code. Yeah, no problem. And uh, and run this exploit. As you can see, we successfully become the root user, and uh, no root flag flag are there. Anyway, we have already successfully uh, got the root shell, or elevate our privilege to the root user. Okay, so that's, so that's all. I did like to go through uh, this virtual machine. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.